Hello and welcome to At Home with Mindy. It's the 29th of June. I went to four shops today and I've reached the top end, you know, top of my budget. I had wanted to get Chris. This is all I've managed to get. Um, so they'll just have to make do. In this little first bit, this bit is BM. Eleven pound and a penny. We've chosen the Seabrook Canadian bacon because it's a six pack and it was a pound. So yeah, anything under a pound these days is good. Pickled onion, little fish thing, fish and chips was sixty nine p. That's also a really good price. Oh, pardon me. Um, I used to love pork scratchings, but yeah, they're not good for you and they break teeth. So I've got pork crunch things. They're more sort of like puffy. They were 45p, but I deserve 45p. Um, we also have three packets of custard for a pound where you just add the water. I thought that would be good for when you make cakes and they, like on the second or third day, you can just put a bit of custard on if they start drying out. Um, not that cakes often get to a second day here. Milkshake powder, the cheapest one they had for a small tub of Nesquik was £2.29. You get 13 straws here. All right, the red cherry but they're a pound so I thought that might be good plus I had three of my grandchildren yesterday um, and I realized I've got no nice stuff in for them but uh, Henderson's relish I'm not sure if I've said this because the phone has cut out on me twice now um, that was 169 it's like Worcester sauce but it's vegan there's no anchovies in it because Yuki, my youngest, is a vegetarian. Uh, bacon grill. I'm pretty sure all the grandchildren eat this. I know Connor loves it. Uh, was one fifty nine, so we picked up two. Because I don't go to BM, so it's handy to pick up some. Noodles. Five packets for a pound. So we picked up two. The only one they had at that price though was chicken curry flavour. But that bit was £11 and a penny. Then we wanted Sainsbury's because I know that they do free range eggs at a good price. All eggs are stupid prices. But um, that's what I wanted in Sainsbury's. One sixty-six for ten. I didn't even bother check-in it was just amazed that they actually had some in yeah they look fine but while we were there we got some cooking bacon for a pound always good to have in if you can get it uh, the mushrooms I'll be preparing these straight for the freezer in a minute anyway we're down to 44p they just look like they've got a little bit warm in the wrapper Again, because when I fed the children yesterday, they said nuggets. They ended up with some of Yuki's vegetarian ones. But um, So yeah, there's 10 chicken burgers. I was hoping this way you might get a bit more meat than on a nugget. It'll all be breadcrumbs. But they're £1.50, so 15p per burger. Yuki hasn't had these for a long time. Uh, 300 grams was on an offer for £1.50 oh we've got a kilo of carrots for 40p I think these would have been the wonky ones before because there are a few in there that are snapped and all that sort of stuff uh, we've got two swish rolls because I'm going to make Connor a cake for his birthday tomorrow because he turns 25 
Okay, but wow, four of my children are over a century old then. A quarter of a century old. But uh, we've picked up the chocolate and then the vanilla and strawberry. They're 115 each. Um, which I think is a really good price anyway. But if the cake I'm making doesn't work, then we can turn those into like Colin Caterpillar, isn't it? Uh, a few more washing up sponges. 36p. Someone did suggest that I use a dish matic. But I don't know if you've ever noticed the tube bit, the washing up liquid that you put into it ends up going really thin. That's dirty washing up water getting into it, so I don't really like the idea of that. Plus, I like to change these like every day or two. Once I've finished washing up, I transfer it then to kitchen cupboards and stuff like that. They work their way down to dirtier jobs, put it that way. But Fairy is working lovely. Barry did pick me up because he takes his dad shopping on the Saturday. He picked me up a lemon one. And all those bits I was saying were rough. They're getting much smoother now. So I'm going to try and stick to Fairy. But this one is pomegranate and grapefruit. It was a pound and it, it does last a week still. Even though it's smaller than the normal ones. Um, this milk was in Sainsbury's at 135 for the lactose one. And both these flavours of chopped tomatoes are 20p because they've only got till the end of August. They're still going to be good after that date. But the one with chilli in is still 60p because it's got an extra month on it. But tomatoes are going up so getting these at 20p I grabbed five of each flavour and that's only two pound for ten so that's really good and I got a natural yogurt 35p because I actually made little flatbreads and they worked really well and the leftover ones the next day we made into pizzas and Sainsbury's was £14.64p which comes to a lot when you think I only wanted the eggs <laughs> that was the only reason I really wanted Sainsbury's right Tesco's was £26.47p we did the oh what is it as, the scanning as you go round so you can pack it yourself because I wanted to keep an eye on the price because I'd already been to two shops and it's like ooh. So we've got four pints of milk at 155. I looked today and we didn't have a biscuit in any cupboard anywhere in the house. So we've got two custard creams. They were 65p each. But when you really want a biscuit and there isn't one, your cup of tea just feels far too wet. And I soaked through the whole cup of tea this morning because I couldn't have a biscuit. <laughs> um, we've got some normal potatoes, 125. I also made homemade chips yesterday to use up what was in the cupboard. Um, these ones look really nice. Uh, while we were there, I did get the cauliflower and broccoli mix. Because that's 80p. And fresh cauliflower. They are tiny. You've probably got more cauliflower in here. Than you do on an actual head of fresh one. I did notice peas have gone up. But I didn't need peas. Uh, the salad tomatoes run off at 59p. With your club card. The onions. Nobody seems to be doing like wonky onions. They were 95p in Tesco's and I noticed last week in Aldi that they were 95p and they're not that great even the 95p ones. You cut them open and there's bad patches in them. So we've got two packets of 55p ones. I'm going to keep a couple out for fresh. And then I'm going to prepare the rest for the freezer. 
just because it's getting harder to actually get hold of good price onions this is silly that was one pound fifty for I can't even see how many it is I think it's just a hundred cases so that's a penny and a half for a little cupcake case before you even put the cake in <laughs> Um, this was £1.20 for minced garlic and it's 283 grams which I think is really good when I made the naan breads I did put butter and well, margarine melted in the microwave and some garlic spread that on top and I used this one which was a good price I can't remember how much it was but it's only 75 grams and everything that's missing from that is what I used for one recipe so I think this one would be better value uh, the lettuce was 75p but if I push that you can see there's no movement that is a nice solid not all just full of air uh, the sugar was £1.5 um, £2.15 for the coffee which we're completely out of our last jar now I need to start drinking tea again because we're not buying tea bags so obviously I'm not drinking tea uh, the peppers I think it was 145 but they're all red and yellow is that yellow or orange? I'm going to say orange but they are quite small got the burger cheese at 83p I sometimes write this in a sandwich on its own you know, not burgers or anything with it um, some ice cream because my grandchildren finished ours and ice cream's nice in this weather we brought pizza pepperoni because it turned out the one from Aldi is only mild and it really was mild no heat to it at all that's one pound five no big blocks of cheese but this one works out the same per kilo as the big blocks the little blocks are silly price then we've got cherries and berries this is one pound eighty it's twice the strength of the Aldi one because Aldi's only double strength but um, I can just imagine everybody trying to measure teaspoon or tablespoons to make it but it's a flavour that Aldi doesn't do so I thought I'm going to have to buy it and just buy less each time so not so many flavours because that's what we've got of the Robinsons one we brought the other week and then that little bit normally I have sort of like a few bottles on the go but that's all we've got left in the house at the moment um, what were these down to 39p so any like bread product is getting silly but it's nice to have some seeded ones Barry's already made himself a sandwich but they were reduced as well um, the Neville's bread is 45p uh, what's the date on that I think that's till Monday the 3rd but that's a whole meal and then we've got this one was 75 for the normal weight and that was all of Tesco's um, and then I did say Marks and Spencer's <laughs> I really wanted some mints and theirs is so nice it was 2 49 and like I always say it's gone through the grinder a lot um, finer so we've picked up two of those but it's the same price and I believe this one's 20% fat I believe Tesco's might be 23 or Aldi's is 23 um, this was a bit of a luxury 82p for a small tub of coleslaw 
but it looks like the vegetables have been grated finer but sometimes you get such big lumps of cabbage in them that it takes the pleasure away from eating it and then some proper butter that was £1.90 um, it's started to go a bit soft now actually better spread it and so those four bits from Marks and Spencer's were £7.72 and in total everything that we've got on the worktop came to £59.84p like I said there's no crisp really because there's only 10, 11 packets there that's not really sort of like I don't know I wanted to get a 30 pack and then I didn't because Tesco's 30 pack is silly price and I didn't look in Sainsbury's because um, it's not what I wanted I just wanted the eggs there but anyway I'll stop moaning and I'll let you get on with the rest of your day like comment and subscribe bye bye